a little bit of a cautionary tale this one I'm afraid there's not really much to learn on this but this is a 2008 uh, Subaru Impreza WRX STI 330 something horsepower uh, short engine uh, the standard problems happened it's dropped a big end um, now uh, in reality the reason it's done this at 40,000 miles uh, is that when the oil has been changed it hasn't been flushed now that oil isn't particularly dirty it's black because uh, it was due an oil change but it's not there's no signs of carbon there's no signs of coke the bores are absolutely beautiful and the honing is still shown there the cross hatching is still shown the engine hasn't run in uh, and what we've got here is on this very front um, uh, journal we've got the shells gone so you can actually hear the thump as you can't see it I do appreciate that um, you can see the rest of the journals are fine but that one there at the very front it's the shell spun dropped out now um, this happens to things like the Nissan Navara it happens to uh, this car in particular um, really the reason it happens is that as you'll see if anyone knows any older diesels you'll see that the journal width here is minimal um, so the width of the actual uh, big end pin is, is very very tight so what they've done to make sure there's a decent bearing surface is they put a much smaller oil hole in the in the uh, the crank itself this means that even small bits of carbon can choke that and, and fill it up um, that stops the oil flow and then throws it out let's be fair the only reason you've probably hit this page is that your car's making a horrible bottom end noise um, and I can't tell you any good news um, a short engine is going to cost you two grand um, and then the work of changing it is monumental um, there's no good news to be honest though if you've got down to this depth it's 350 odd quid for a crank and it's 29 or 30 quid for a set of shells you might as well almost if you've done this yourself you might as well change the big ends yourself um, it's you know the engine splits she splits here the whole thing comes apart so you get a brand new crank a brand new set of shells you know so long as you've caught it early enough you won't need a new rod um, you know you're you're you know if you haven't got the equipment to check that you're gonna have to guess on it um, but basically the quicker you shut the engine down when you hear it start to knock the, the, the more likely you are to be able to fix this but yeah a crank's 350 um, 29 quid for shells it's not you know if you're using standards it's not going to be that difficult you know they're not press fit or anything they just sit in between the two halves um, so it is achievable by you know on your own but so the real thing to learn from this is if yours hasn't started knocking yet make sure the oil is flushed every time you check so make sure you use flushing oil every time you change the oil so what you do is you change the flushing oil you run it you drain that out and then you put proper oil back in um, they have made some modifications that might make this better and it is an opportunity once you've got it in pieces to, to do things like you know change the rods possibly change the pistons to raise pistons because hey you know while you're down here you might as well do the rest um, again you know that the previous videos you're gonna have to check your turbo for wear this is a 40k turbo that's got um got some serious bearing issues and it. it comes off the same engine and also it's got a crack just down by the wastegate there so there we are. I'm sorry there's no more bad, no more good news on that. And I haven't got any tips to um, to save your ass on that one, but that's something for you. Hope it helps.